Welcome to the testing world. While executing our JMeter test cases, we are setting number of threads or I'll say number of users. So now I want to fetch how many users we have applied on a test case or I'll say thread group and I will do that by using bean shell scripting. So at the runtime, if any time you want to fetch number of users on your thread group, you can find it. So I'm just moving to JMeter test plan and here I have test plan and then I'm on a thread group. So here on the thread group, I have set four users. I'm just moving to my step, which is HTTP request step and I'm adding a preprocessor, bean shell preprocessor. Now here I want to fetch how many threads by using bean shell script. For that, I'm going to use CTX, which is a JMeter context object, then get thread group. So it's going to fetch the current thread group. Now method is get number of threads. I want to display this so log dot info number of threads and I'm just displaying number of threads. As of now, it's a very straightforward code. I'm just running it. And there's no error if I check it here. So at the end, total number of threads every time it is increasing. So first time it was one, two, three, three. Why it's showing three, three? Why, why it's not showing four? Because it is finding out the current point of time. When it reach on this position, one thread has completed its task. So means at this point of time, it was only three threads at which are running. Okay, what I do, uh, I'm just going to the thread group and running it for forever. Now I'm going and executing it. So if any point of time, you will find now we have four, four threads because one thread is completed task, but again, it gone for the task. I have just executed for the loop. So again, every point of time we have four threads which are running i have just stopped it so here if you notice we are getting these threads okay what i do now i'm running in a loop but i set ramp up time so what i do i have 100 threads and i set the time 10 seconds for i have set 10 seconds for ramp up now i hope you understand what you mean by the ramp up i just clear the screen running it now the threads are increasing if you check it here so continuously the number is increasing till 100 and once we reach the 100 now 100 threads are applied so if you check it over here i have ramp i have given the ramp up time 10 and 100 users in every one second 10 users are applied so what i do here i just stop it over here and I'm setting ramp up time is 100 and number of users are also 100. So now in each second, so I'll say every second, one user will go to the, will send a request. So now if I run this and we check logs. So first it was for first second, it was only one thread. Now two, then three, then four, then five. So after each second, the threads are increasing. So at the run time, if you want to fetch how many threads we are having, currently having on the application so you can check it by this method first we need to go for the get thread group and then get number of threads I'm just stopping it over here so here we have seen how we can fetch number of threads at the runtime like how many threads are we we are having at the runtime that's information is very important when we are doing real-time scenarios that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video